I'm well, thank you. It's eight o'clock, let's start. Well, can I just comment on Hugh's hair? I think it looks very attractive this morning. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, I noticed. <laughs> that could be a new feature of our mornings. We could comment on each other's grooming, yeah. <laughs> That's a great idea. Okay. We do I'm that ready to be prayer, religious. Prayer in section. Yeah, I think we pray. really need, we really need to pray now. Yeah. Okay. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, "Let us go to the house of the Lord." At page seventy nine, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God. We confess, we confess that we have sinned against you, you so and by, by what we have, what we have done, done, and by, by what, by what we have left undone. We have not loved, loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have not loved our neighbors, our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will. And walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 Page 80. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall be praise and praise. Glory to the Father, Father and to the Son, and, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. 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 Susan, would you be willing to read the Vanity for us, please? Yeah, be glad to. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for today is a portion of Psalm 119, which does go on forever. Um, psalm 119, verses 97 to 120, and you can find that at page 771 in the Book of Common Prayer. 771. Beginning at the 97th verse. Oh, how I love your law. All, All the day long it is in my mind. My mind. My mind. Your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies. And, and it is always with me. me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For your I am wiser than the elders. Because, because I observe your commandments. commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way. That I may, I may keep your word. word. But do not drink from your judgments. Because, because you yourself, you yourself have, have taught, taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste. They, they are sweeter than honey, than honey, than honey, than honey than 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 Through your commandments I gain understanding. Therefore I hate the light of light. Way. Your word is a lantern to my feet. And, and a light of my, my, my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep, keep your righteous, righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, my life pure, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips. And, and teach me your judgments. judgments. My life is always in my hand. Yet, Yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me. But I have not, I have not strayed from your commandments. commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, Truly they, they are the joy, joy of my heart. my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes. Forever, forever and to the end. end. I hate those who have a divided heart. 
But your law, your law I will do, I love. I love. You are my refuge and shield. My hope, my hope is in your word. word. Away from me, you wicked. I will, I will keep the keep commandments of my God. God. Sustain me according to your promise that I may live. Yeah. And let me let me be disappointed, disappointed in my hope. Hold me up and I shall be safe. And my, and my life, life shall be ever in your statutes. You spurn all who stray from your statutes. There it is. Your deceitfulness is in vain. Is in, vain. in your sight, all the wicked of the earth are but dross. Therefore, Therefore I, love I love your decrees. My flesh trembles with dread of you. I am afraid of your, your judgments. judgments. Glory to the Father and, and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is and it will be now, forever. And will be forever. Amen. 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 You, you're on. <clears throat> and you're muted, Hugh. <laughs> A reading from the book of Numbers. So Moses went out and told the people the works of the Lord, and he gathered 70 elders of the people and placed them all around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the 70 elders. And when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, but they did not do so again. Two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent, and so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, and Joshua, son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men said, my Lord, Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would all that the Lord's people were prophets and that the Lord would put his spirit on them? And Moses and the elders of Israel returned to the camp. Then a wind went out from the Lord, and it brought quails from the sea and let them fall beside the camp about a day's journey on this side and a day's journey on the other side all around the camp about two cubits deep on the ground. So the people worked all that day and night and all the next day gathering the quails. The least anyone gathered was 10 homers and they spread them out for themselves all around the camp. But while the meat was still between their teeth before it was consumed, the anger of the Lord was kindled against the people and the Lord struck the people with a very great plague. So that place was called Kibroth Hatava because they buried the people who had the craving. From Kibroth Hatava, the people journeyed to Hazaroth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I'm wondering if Jenny would be willing to read Canticle 11 at page 87. Sure. Canticle 11, the third song of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom and shout shrouds the people. But over you, the Lord will rise and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open by day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. Amen. Second reading, a reading from Matthew. <clears throat> At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he put among them and said, truly I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or lame than to have two hands or two feet and to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into the hell of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. We'll continue with the Apostles' Creed at page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers at page 97, the Lord be with you. And also, also with you. With you. <clears throat> Pray, our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, will thy will be done. done. On earth, earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this, us this day, day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory, and the glory forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help on all nations. But not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. No, the hope of the, the, the poor be taken away. And away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us with the Holy Spirit. Spirit. We pray for our church in this time of transition. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James. Grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through the search process. Thank you for the faithful stewards you have provided and will provide for our leadership. Thank you for those who've agreed to serve on the search committee and the strategic planning group and on the vestry. Bless the vestry retreat this weekend. Bless the focus groups that are going on now. As we go through this process, give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us through this journey. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pray for our church and the world in this time of pandemic. 
We pray for the church that it may not grow weary of proclaiming the gospel of Christ and serve as beacon of hope to a suffering world as we pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Rob, our bishop, Pierce, our interim rector, clergy and staff, wardens and vestry, and all who lead us in your name. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all affected by the virus around the world and for the leaders of nations that they may work together for the common good. We pray for public health and government officials in our nation that they may be granted strength to act swiftly and decisively with wisdom and compassion in service to all. We pray for our president and his administration, for the Congress, for governors and mayors, and all elected officials. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they have access to medical care and regain their strength and health. Grant them healing grace, give strength to all who care for loved ones. We pray in thanksgiving for healthcare workers who with hearts of service stand on the front lines of providing care. Grant them courage and protection as they put the needs of public safety before their own. Bless scientists and researchers around the world as they combat the virus, that their work may yield knowledge to develop a vaccine, treatments, and improved measures to reduce its spread. Lord, in your mercy. You're welcome. We pray for the safety and well-being of all who travel and those who remain quarantined. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts. That confident in your providence, we may be generous in sharing our resources. Grant that our churches and communities of faith may reflect your love as they minister to the most vulnerable among us. Fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet to all in need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and those who will yet suffer such loss. We pray for all who have died in the hope of the resurrection and those whose faith is known to you alone that with all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. prayer. Hear our prayer. And we pray for our nation in a time of uh, unrest, about issues of racism and injustice, praying for the repose of the soul of George Floyd, Rashad, Rashad Brooks, and for Breonna Taylor and for their families for the communities in which they resided, for all those who are victims of racism and justice. We pray for healing of the racism that touches all of our lives, bring peace to our nation, guide our leaders in calling us to that peace, and enable us in fulfillment of our baptismal covenant to strive for justice and peace and respect the dignity of every human being. O oh God, who can turn our worries into wings of joy and our sorrows into songs of thanks, let not our hearts be so troubled by the tragedies of this life's moment that we lose sight of the eternal life in your kingdom. Give comfort and solace to our companions who suffer almost unbearable losses every second, minute, and hour in our nation and world. Strengthen our resolve to replace hatred with love, tension with trust, selfishness with caring and community. Heal, O oh God, all our children so that those who hate and those who are hated, those who hurt and those who are hurt, may grow up in a nation and in a world of peace, opportunity, and justice. Amen. 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 And at this time, we uh, offer our own prayers for healing for those known to us who stand in need of God's healing power. And as I mention these names, I invite you to add names in the column or the writer to say them aloud when uh, I've completed the list. We pray for Adrian Jackson this morning, for Bill Hale, Eden Booty Baldridge, for Amy, Max, Beth, Terry, Bo, Janice, Jocelyn, Amarin, and her baby, Henry, Maureen, Mary Will. We pray for the Peterson family and for their loss for Wright and Eileen, for Carl, Francis, Michael, the Caldwells, Sharla, and others we mentioned at this time. Circa, Jennifer. Shannon. 
ันFor the sermon to know how St. James, uh, specifically in others' community, can help reconcile racial inequities in our communities. Joe and Larry. I'm wondering what Thanksgivings you have this morning. Stopped raining for a little bit. <laughs> we give thanks for the great opportunities for ministry in 2020. And that doesn't sound too saint-like. That sounds perfect. Uh, I'm thankful for the homeless here at St. James that I get to see in the mornings and to minister to and just be a part of that and talk with these men and women. <laughs> If thanks for Wes and that he does that. And, uh, congratulations to Sarah Thomas for her uh, appointment to the uh, diocesan committee, um, youth committee. She, she is honored and um, a little bit um, impressed about the duties she's taken on. It's <laughs> good. I want to give thanks for the wardens and vestry of our church at this time, and particularly our wardens. And the only thing I think that could be an improvement is if we could clone them. And it looks like we've successfully done that with Florence Mellon <laughs> this morning. It does. I love it. We'll, we'll work on Steve Thomas, but uh, the only thing better would be two Florence Ellens. So anyway. Any other prayers or thanksgivings? I'm thankful for all of you. Let's sum up our prayers. I'll read the general thanksgiving. You can follow along at page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. We pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. 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 Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James Parish, although at this time we're apart from each other. We pray your Holy Spirit unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now, I know we usually don't have music on Wednesday, but we don't always do what we always do. And uh, we are reading the book of Numbers. And on Sunday, when we didn't meet, was maybe the most famous passage in Numbers, which has been called the Aaronic uh, Blessing. Not ironic, but Aaronic, as in Aaron, brother of Moses. And so um, I just thought as a blessing, we might hear that because we didn't get to hear it on Sunday and it's worth the trip. So Aaron, take it away.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 And as they say at the grocery store, have a blessed day. <laughs> you too. You too. Hi, everyone. Everybody, Hi, everybody. Have a good one. Can't see y'all, but y'all have a great day. <laughs>